Hey guys, it's Nurse Howie, and every couple of years we have to renew our ACLS license. But sometimes I need to be able to have those mnemonics so I can remember exactly what I'm doing when there's a code or when I'm being tested. So here's a mnemonic that I use if somebody has a shockable rhythm. Now, as we all know, most shockable rhythms are either ventricular fibrillation or a pulseless ventricular tachycardia. So either a VF or a pulseless VTAC is what's known as a shockable rhythm. And those are mainly the only two ones that we usually shock. And by shock, I mean defibrillate, not just transcutaneous or transvenous pacing, not just cardioversion, but I mean full on shock like you see in the movies. So my mnemonic is, is that I like to watch a lot of drag race stuff. Um, those years ago, I don't watch it as much anymore, but here's the thing. Basically, this means that there's five cycles of CPR, and at this time, you're going to vomit. So you're going to be so held back because you're going to have to do vitals, oxygen, monitor, try to get an IV, and take the pads and attach them to the patient. So then you're going to go like this, means that you're going to analyze the patient. Is the patient's rhythm shockable, which means that does it have the ventricular fibrillation or a pulseless VTAC? If it does, then you wind the defibrillator back up and you get ready to either put it at a 120, 150, or 200 joules, and then you slap. Or shock, is what I meant. And shock the patient, you continue CPR. Next hand comes up, that's the five cycles of CPR that you've recontinued. Hopefully you've got your IV uh, in by this time, and then you analyze the patient again, and you see if there's rhythm is still shockable, Again, one of those two things, either if it's a ventricular fibrillation or a, v, a pulseless VTAC. And then you wind back and you sh shock. And then you get the other hand, once again, five, back to five cycles of CPR. And at this point, you're either gonna drink, which means that you're gonna give that one milligram IV of epinephrine, a rapid push, or, um, you can cycle back around and you do amiodarone IV at 300 milligram bolus. And then if you cycle back around and you decide to want to give amiodarone again, it'll be 150 milligrams. Okay? So that's the mnemonic. Hope it works for you.